Hello, welcome to a brand new episode of Watch Us Play. I'm Joey Davidson. I'm actually here by myself today. Uh, I've been playing nothing but Grand Theft Auto for the last few weeks. A few weeks, I should say. Five days. Whatever, man. Time. It doesn't matter when this game is out. Uh, I just wanted to grab a quick sample of this game just to kind of give you guys a look at what's in store. Um, if you pick it up, you should pick it up. I mean, I think it, it made like 800 million in its first day alone. So, I, you probably have picked it up. I um, just wanted to do some random Strangers and Freaks missions and then transition between characters. So here is the first. What? That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking to fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal there? <laughs> Funny, So obviously this this mission here, this uh, Strangers and Freaks thing, it's, it's basically like the question marks that you see on the map that is returning from GTA 4 and then uh, obviously it was also in Red Dead. It's just like really random side missions. It's kind of a, a fun way to introduce yourself to new characters. Um, and obviously it was a race, but I decided to skip that race. You do not want to see that. It's just driving. Look at my car afterwards. Things did not go well for me. Something else I wanted to show you guys when you're driving around the world of Grand Theft Auto, so you have those like question mark freaks or strangers and freaks. I keep thinking like freaks and geeks for some reason. Um, you'll also kind of stumble on real world, open world events that just kind of happen dynamically. So I heard someone shout there, decided I'd turn around. There's two bikers who stole some money. <laughs> I love how hand every time there's bikers, I just smash right into them. Take him out real quick, and I'll be able to return this dude's dough. Um, I could keep it for myself. I think it's, what is it, $500 this time? Let's see. Yeah, 500 bucks. But I'll give it back to the guy because $500 is nothing to me in my life of crime. Also, ironically enough, sitting right next to me is a police officer. Yep. How about that for realism? So I find the guy back on this corner, I hand him his bucks, he gives me a $50 reward, which is just grand. Look at him. I've never gotten anything but very small rewards for these things. I don't know if there's a dynamic event or, or somewhere that maybe rewards you with something more awesome. Sometimes they grant you crew members and heists. Uh, maybe down the line I'll do a video of a heist for you guys. This game is so early on, I really didn't want to spoil things. This is what it looks like when you switch characters. So, you'll actually... Zoom out, you notice that the color of the world is green when I zoomed out there. That's uh, Franklin's color, is green. And then when you zoom in here on Michael, the tint changes from green to blue. Trevor is like this orange-brown cover. Color, excuse me. So this is Michael. Um, pretty much what I do here is I just kind of decide, you know, let's go for a drive, see what is open on the quest map in order for me to partake in. Right now I'm actually building up a heist. Um, I'm like getting the equipment together in order to take out a bank and what that entails basically when you go on a heist you'll talk to Lester who's this planner typically it's Lester um, and he'll say you know you need X equipment after you decide your approach so you go and you have to go out into the world to get this equipment so you see that like I'm kind of missing myself here looking around for the heist symbol there's gonna be this HS see there it is that's the equipment that I need for this particular heist. So I have to go track it down. Now, <laughs> what's interesting about Grand Theft Auto is they keep throwing these dynamic events at you while you're playing. So it's not just going to be driving from point A to point B uninterrupted while listening to music. If you look down on the bottom left side of the corner, you'll see that there's like five miles. This is one of the biggest distances I've had to drive in this game. Um, it's The open world is pretty huge. So, if you remember from driving around in, in GTA 3, personally, I thought that the San Andreas of that world was just too big. Um, it took forever to get across, there was just big open road, I mean, it was great in the, in the moment, and I'm not knocking it for being a bad game or anything, but when driving around in the open world there, you kind of hit this, this sense of loneliness and boredom that kind of took over when you realized, oh crap, I gotta drive all the way, blah blah blah. 
Here in Grand Theft Auto V, you're met with this five, six mile drive, and yeah, you could zip through real quick, but as you'll see me do, um, you can just stop and pick someone up. If someone, you know, calls out for help, which they often happen to do, you'll be able to pull over, stop, and you get a story. You can kind of like this really interesting event that's kind of completely separate from the main campaign, just kind of plays out. I, I found a dude strung up half naked to a pole uh, a couple days ago, and he was left by his best man from his bachelor party. That's the kind of shit that you'll get into with Grand Theft Auto V. So I'm going to let this clip play out. You'll actually see me leave this tunnel, and notice the GPS turns off when you're going through a tunnel. That's pretty cool. But the radio still plays. Don't question it. Um, you'll see me stop, pick up some chick, she'll start to talk to us, and then we'll leave the clip there. We will be doing more GTA 5 watches plays down the line. The GTA Online thing is going to set up probably early October. I want to say it's like the first week of October they're going to do GTA Online, which I'm really looking forward to, and we will definitely do a watches play for that. So, for Crave Online, this has been Joey Davidson, and thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with more Grand Theft Auto. This is just a taste, friends. Just a taste. Can I get a oh. Come on, someone! Hey, got room for one more? All right, come on. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no. Nope.